Hello, everyone. This is Barb at Mystic Door Tarot, and thank you so much for joining me today. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Now, today I am using the Jack o' Lantern Tarot deck. So, let's just jump right into your quick glance at the energy of the day for Friday, October 28th, 2022. Today we have the King of Wands. Okay. Let's bring this in a bit closer. Well, another day with the energy of a king. So this is an energy of control, respect, and possibly having mastered a situation or circumstance. Definitely can be whatever you put your mind to in regards to yesterday. Maybe the outcome of switching around and tending to your financial resources and then getting that wisdom, that foresight to do that from the previous day, the Nine of Wands, preparing for what you feel is coming. This has a lot to do with we're getting closer to the 31st where the veil is at its very thinnest. So a huge indication, especially at this time of year, to really trust in your intuition and listen to your gut instincts. Now, the King of Wands certainly can be turning up today as a Leo individual and might be crossing your path. You might be presented with an opportunity by this King of Wands, whatever it may be. And they might be crossing your path today in regards to something that you have a passion for. This is the Wands energy. So if you're really passionate about the work that you do, your gifts, your talents, the King of Wands might take notice to that today and present you with an opportunity. Now for others, you might be acquiring the traits of the King of Wands. So some of you might be getting some kind of promotion or going into a job which is better than the one that you had before. And this is an energy of just being very confident and taking the lead, possibly leading others, inspiring others in some way. For some of you, you might be married to the King of Wands. This is someone that's very devoted to the family, very charming, very motivated to take action to bring about positive change, whether it's in the home environment or the work environment. Very decisive and courageous, and especially bases decisions and possibly taking some risk based on his gut feelings. And that's what we're talking about today. Pay attention to what your intuition is telling you. We're only a few days away from the 31st. Now, the King of Wands concerns your third chakra, that is your navel chakra, and it sits right at the solar plexus, and the element is fire. It is the chakra of vitality, your will, and determination. So there could be something that comes up today where you're going to feel like your action has some kind of effect and that you do certainly have control over your life. And that would be tied into the last two days energy, the king of pentacles of stability, security, building upon that foundation and having things in place. And then even back to the nine of wands where you were preparing for what you felt you saw coming. Now, I haven't talked about it in a while, but very much into astrology, the planetary alignment, and we've got a huge shift that's going to be coming in March 2023. So these cards possibly play into what is coming in March. Significant change will be happening. The elimination of some things and then the birth and emergence of new things. So really an exciting time, but you need to be prepared. Now the crystal that is specifically associated with the King of Wands is hematite. And here is my hematite crystal, which is a crystal that enforces strength, courage, mental clarity, grounding, protection, brings in harmony. And also one of the things that the King of Wands possesses, personal magnetism. This is where you can have so many people inspired by the King of Wands. So today, the second king shows up and kings represent very influential people or energy coming in for a specific purpose and usually for the greater good. And take notice as the king on this card 
there's a lot of growth on his wand that he's holding firmly for the future and tremendously big ideas brewing, which is represented by the giant crown he wears upon his head. Preparation is key, especially in regards to what you have a passion for. Thank you so much for joining me today. Please be sure to subscribe, help support my channel, love and abundance. Until tomorrow.